prior to this trip, I um, always struggle every time I go, partially because of uh, just time, energy, coordination, finances, all of those things. And so he's like, you know, I don't have to go. I don't need to go. And I, you know, and, I, and if, if other people had not committed to go with me, I probably would have been like, you know what, I don't have to do this. This is not something that I have to do. And, um, and yet, when I go, I realize that being in the presence of that environment of having, uh, you know, 60,000 young people exalting the Lord and the mix that goes in there and the, and, the, and the word that is being proclaimed and the teaching and what have you, I realize that I am changed. And um, I, I just, and I don't, can't really explain how I am changed. I just know that I am changed. And part of it was like in the last 24 hours, I have had like three different occasions where I am just having a conversation with somebody and um, I say something or something happens and it's just like this whole wave of, of look comes over their face. Like, number one, how did you know and, and who do you think you are that you can speak this to me? And it's just, but they walk away and I'm even myself, I'm like, okay, God, what was that? And yet, prior to this trip, there's a, there's a scripture, and it's in Proverbs 23, 23, and it says, buy the truth and sell it not. Buy the truth and sell it not. And I was thinking about this, and it was like God was just affirming in me. He goes, you've put a lot of money into buying the truth. He says, you have spent a lot of money buying the truth. And he says, don't regret buying the truth because I am telling you, buy the truth, invest in the truth, go for the truth, take the truth, seize the truth, be aggressive for the truth, but do not sell it, give it away, give it away. And as you proclaim the truth, as you proclaim the truth in your day to day, in your work, in your relationships, as you proclaim the truth, I'm feeling strong about this. Yes, I am. As you proclaim the truth. You will see freedom come to those who hear. And in 830, Romans 8.32, it says, you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. And I can declare to you, I have proclaimed the truth, and I have seen people set free by the truth. But if you don't take the time to get the truth, if you're not willing to pay the price to have the truth, then when the opportunity comes to present the truth, you have no truth to give. Does that make sense? Yeah. This is why I go. This is why I do what I do, is because the truth is worth it. Jesus paid a high price for us to have the truth, and he is encouraging us to invest and buy the truth so that we will have the truth, not so that we can profit by the truth, not that we can sell the truth, not that we can write a book on the truth or any of those things, but that we can proclaim the truth, and the people that are in captive, the people that have no hope, the people that are wondering what tomorrow is going to bring, they can know that there is a truth and I can be set free. You know, last night or the night before I was down at the community center, I was listening. I went to work out. Thank you, Jesus. That was a huge thing. I haven't worked out in a while. I need to do that. But I went down there and the TV happened to be on. Well, there was a shooting in Florida. And I watched this and I was like, God, I don't, I was in Florida. I've been in Florida. I've been in that airport many times. I don't want to see this. I'm preparing to take my family. I don't want to see this. So I was going back and forth between listening to my worship music and listening to the TV and going back and forth. And then I began to get a visual of my son being shot in the, 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 <laughs> the thing. And I, was, and I just started to cry. And everybody was like, wondering what my problem is. I can't do this. And I realized that the spirit of fear was coming in. And I thought, God, if I'm going to go, and I believe he is calling me to go, but if I'm going to go, I cannot go in fear. Yes, that's right. I cannot go in fear. For the word says that he's not given us a spirit of fear, but of love and peace and a sound mind. Even though, Miss Kay, my decisions may seem sporadic, I believe the spirit of God is leading me and he's given me a story. And I'm trusting him in all things. And I realize that so many people are living their life in fear. And I was encouraging this, this young man, and he's got an idea, and he wants this thing. And I was telling him, I said, the Spirit of God will speak to you, and he will counsel you, and he will help you, and he will bring this vision to pass if you will trust him and you will listen to him. And this wave of confusion and hurt and fear and everything came across his mind and his face, and it was like he was looking at me, he was like, and I could just see all the reasons come forth why he can't hear, 
why he can't do, why it won't happen, why his desire won't be fulfilled. And I kept, and I believe God is going to bring it around again, and I'm going to have another opportunity. But I just want to encourage you. Sometimes you think, you know, God, I don't need to go. And maybe, maybe I just should just, you know, stay home. And maybe, you know, maybe I just, I just shouldn't spend that money. Maybe, you know, it's just going to take a little too much time, a little too much. And maybe, 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 I, whatever your maybe is, I encourage you to get before the Holy Spirit and put your thoughts aside and like what Alexis was saying and listen to what the Spirit of God is saying. What Pastor John said last Sunday is so true. Listen to what the Spirit of God is saying to you for 2017. And whatever he says, do it. Buy the truth. Invest in the truth. Go after the truth and sell it not. That there will come a time when you will have opportunity to speak into somebody's life and you will have invested in the truth, and the truth will be in you, and you'll be able to speak the truth, and you will be able to set the captives free. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Amen. That's why I go. Amen. Amen. Amen.